oil prices seem to be relatively stable. In fact, a slight advance in oil prices is largely due solely to a weaker dollar. Thus, the market situation has barely changed. Investors are awaiting the outcome of the upcoming OPEC Plus meeting. Oil producers are likely to agree on an oil output cut of 1 million barrels per day. Amid these expectations, oil managed to post slight gains. In the cartel thus adopted this decision, the quotes will break through the mark of $90 per barrel and then hit towards $100 per barrel. However, the meeting will take place only tomorrow. Until then, the market situation is expected to remain unchanged. From a technical point of view, brand crude oil futures are moving around the resistance level of $90 per barrel, with a view to overcoming it. A breakout signal will be confirmed in a case the price stays firm above this mark, at least on the far chart. Until then, the risk of a rebound remains. In the meantime, gold gained strong upside momentum, unexpectedly rising above $1,700 per three ounce, and this can be attributed to speculation, which caused a move in the opposite direction from expectations ahead of an important event such as the release of data on the eurozone producer prices. Obviously, surging inflation in Europe will force the European Central Bank to raise interest rates more aggressively than previously expected. Higher producer prices will make investors think that the prices will gradually decline. By late rate, the yellow metal may fall below $1,700. Moreover, an overbought signal in a short time frames may lead to a slowdown in the upward cycle. The medium-term fundamental outlook for gold remains the same. The price is likely to drop below $1,600 per three ounces. However, if this move is indeed inertial, a signal of overbought conditions may be ignored by traders. In this case, the asset may head for the level of 1,730. Now let's consider the situation in the market of commodity currencies, the Russian ruble and Brazil's real. Despite increased volatility, the ruble is steady. The dollar is still trading within the range of 58 and 59 rubles. Moreover, there are no signs of a trend change. As for the long run, the ruble is gradually gaining value. The situation may change only if the Ministry of Finance resumes its foreign exchange interventions. Until then, the Russian currency is likely to keep posting modest gains. The results of the first round of a Brazil's presidential election spurred a sharp rally in the Brazilian real. Former Brazilian president um, Lula da Silva held a solid pull in elite going into Sunday's election, although the Brazilian economy was expect, uh, experiencing hard times during his uh, time in office. Most experts attributed this to extremely costly and ineffective social policy pursued by Lula. At the same time, far-right um, incumbent Joe Bolnassaro won uh, the votes uh, and uh, suggesting uh, they go into a second round runoff. And this gave investors hope that the government will maintain its current economic policy, which is more balanced for major businesses. And this means that Brazil's investment uh, climate will remain favorable. According to the trading chart, uh, this event led to increased speculative activity. As a result, the Brazilian real surged by almost 5% against the US dollar. Although this price change uh, is considered strong, there are no dramatic changes from a technical point of view. In effect, the quote returned to its September levels. Based on the levels uh, with a high trading activity posted in August-September, it's worth focusing on 5.15, 5.10 and 5.00. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.